Welcome to my live action dream diary. We are about to experiment something that no one has ever done before. You will be witnessing one of my dreams while it unfolds. I'm not going to read my dream from any diary, but I will share it with you as it happens. This also requires some inspirational background music that I will compose myself while asleep. Let's begin. There is a huge ocean and a giant whale looking for comfort, wandering alone in the vast ocean. While he is having no friends in the sea, he wants to fly away. So he starts to build an aircraft. The whale flies with the aircraft to the continent and around the world. And there is also a boy in Australia. The boy reaches the coast and the whale lands in next to the boy. He asks from the boy, Can I wear your boots? And the boy says, Yes, of course you can wear my boots. The whale takes the boots and walks away. He has always wanted to see the funeral of elephants. And he goes searching for that. Okay, I'm going to stop it right here, because I know what you're thinking. You are thinking right now that this is the most boring uh, video you have seen, that you cannot picture anything more boring than watching a random dude's dream. And you're thinking that this is the most awful animation you have seen, that you have never seen so useless shit in your entire life. And you know, you might be right. You might be... That might just be the case. But I'll promise something for you, because we can easily skip the following scene, which is the uh, scene with the apple pie, and, and the next scene also the scene with the gazelle. Let's just skip it. Uh, Indian Jones scene, uh, Scarlett Johansson scene, <laughs> and the squirting scene, uh, which takes us to the scene uh, of arriving home. So we just made a dream that would have lasted still like 90 minutes into a dream of two minutes. How does that sound for ya? Huh? That's good? You like it? Let's roll it. I have a little hut on the countryside. The hut is full of milkmen with their bottles because I haven't been home for a while. But all the milkmen, they are okay with that. I make some coffee to them. And at night we watch stars. The stars make long lines to the sky. Because the earth somehow moves on natural speed. Then I see a giant onion in the horizon coming towards us. And I shout to all the milkmen that go, run, run into the hut. We will be safe there. But the onion comes closer and closer and it's huge. It rolls above the lake and instantly I'm flying. I'm flying towards it. I have to stop it from destroying everything. And then I see Frodo in the lake and Frodo yells, help me, that onion will crush us all. What are we going to do about it? And I say, don't you worry about a thing. And Frodo just knows that I know what I'm doing. And I'm flying with the Iron Man and his Iron Man army. The Onion sees it but doesn't care. He's still so big that even an Iron Man army can't stop it. But then a whale appears. A whale that is so familiar to me. And he's having this huge army of elephants. Zombie and skeleton elephants. And that army scares the shit out of that onion and that onion goes back to the sky and the stars and the earth are in peace again and the stars are not moving anymore too quickly wow